Hello everyone and welcome back to some more sacrificial adventures in the land of Project Zero Two Wii Edition. Chapter 6, The Remaining. Oh, no cutscene and uh, we have control of the torch because apparently this house isn't mystically, I don't know, warding of uh, electric devices. Anyways, we have a couple of items to collect right here. Okay, so we're safe. Type 14 film, thank you, because I was running out of these. That is fantastic, thank you so much. So, I'm really, really excited to start today because I just watched the season finale of The Legend of Korra. If you don't know what that is, it's a sequel to um, The Drapes Hanging from the Ceiling Block My View. So, get around them, thank you. Okie doke. That seemed slightly creepy. But not too much. Alright, I wanted to make my way over here because there was an item somewhere. Unless I'm totally lost. Yes, there it is on the floor. But, okay, just being careful. Herbal medicine, thank you as well. I was also running low on those. Are you just gonna jump scare me at some point around soon? Game? Just because, you know, I've played a few survival horrors in my day, and making me go through an area, like a creepy area, where there's nothing, it's usually just a trick. See, there's someone right there, Camera Obscura. Ah, di point down! God damn it! Ugh, the Wii Remote is such a dick! God damn it. I missed that picture for like a split second. It's just... <laughs> just so you have an idea, the reason why I missed these is because when you press B, when it says the camera obscure... What are you doing? Is there was another one? Or am I going back? What the hell was that? No, what, what do you... No, go back! What are you doing? No. Anyways. So when you press the B button to, uh, to take out your camera obscura, if you're not pointing with your Wii Remote to the exact spot where the... whatever you're trying to photograph is, you will... Um, th th like, the camera will drift towards where you're pointing. That's terrible. Terrible game design. Because, like, uh, like, at the point when, when I'm pressing the B button, I know I'm bitching, and I bitch a lot, I know that, but um, at the point when, I, when, I'm, uh, when I'm pressing the B button, I don't know where what perspective I'll be in when I uh, want to take the picture. And I could investigate here, but I want to uh, make my way right over here and see if there's, there's a door. Okay, so we have two options. We could... Um, why would I even try to go through that hole if there's a perfectly good door right here? With some very creepy dolls. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, could I... Picture! I got you. Fleeing doll. Why do I have to kill you? I don't. I don't really want to kill you. I wish I didn't have to. Hopefully, I won't have to. These dolls are creepy. Can I? Yeah. Oh, you can interact with these. That's pretty nice. Okay. Anything in these drawers? The blackened dresser here looks to be of higher quality than the furniture around it. Great. Let's steal it. Can you carry one of these, Mister Miss Sixty-Year-Old Girl? There's an item. More Type 14 film. I'm really glad. Thank you so much. Someone told me that I should, for the life of me, save the Type 00 film for the last boss because I would need it. Well, that was my plan from the very beginning. If, uh, hopefully you'll believe me, but it, it was, because I, I, I play the conservative style, usually. So this is the house of uh, Yai and Sai, supposedly. Hey, again, girls. Picture. The Vanishing Twin. Interesting. Okay. Let's stay together forever. Can you hear any of that? I don't know if in post-production I'll be able to boost the sound enough for you to hear, hear that. I can hear that. And, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not watching this on YouTube. I'm actually playing this sitting right here. There is an item. Pretty cool. Oh, there's got to be a, a hand of some sort coming out. Uh, no. 
Type 61 film, 16, 15 sheets. Are we coming up to a boss or something? Or like a really hard monster that's gonna knock the dick out of me? Because, you know, I've learned to be suspicious when it comes to these things. But as I was saying, we're in Yai and Saya's house, if I do understand this correctly, and uh, they are our ancestors, Mayu and Niu. But it doesn't... The story doesn't quite fit, because they were sacrifices. But the only reason I see this working is if... Sai, I believe that was Sai. Sai ran away, and Yai stayed behind. So, uh, and, and then the Twin Wardens were sacrificed in their place. Okay, so now it sort of makes sense. I believe that's how it works. Uh, we only have five slots, so I'm gonna circle around and save right there on slot number one. Fantastic. Okay, well, let's keep going then. And I uh, keep exploring the house. I didn't even take a look at the map or see if I have enough experience points. I do not. To um, level anything up. I do not. And well, we've been in these two rooms. There is another door here uh, that I didn't take to this to the right here. But uh, I'm going to explore these two rooms first. Why not? Seems like a, a good place to start. Like right here. This one. Okay. It's locked. There we go. Fantastic. At least uh, this game doesn't have as many locked doors as Silent Hill. Silent Hill is all... Like, the, the doors are always jammed. It's terrible. That place must be a locksmith paradise. Always work around every corner. Anyway, so what do we have here this time? No, no ghosts yet. But I'm sure they'll, they'll be here. They'll be here. No worries. This game is more about uh, the ambiance than... Uh, it seems like there's a, a room behind here. Well, I mean, this is Japan. So, uh, the walls are usually made of paper, which makes it so they can rip, and, uh, uh okay. Purple Diary 1. There's an old book on the altar. Why do I have to kill her? Why do I have to... Okay. <laughs> All right. I think I've read two sentences, and it's enough to, uh, you know, give you a sort of an idea of what's written here. Okay. That was not creepy at all. Like, I have to say that the, di the diary that I love the most out of every diary that I got, or any assortment of uh, similar items that you get in survival horror games, has to be that one in uh, Resident Evil 1. On the desk sits sit a bell, a mortuary tablet, and prayer beads. So, oh, the open book appears to contain Buddhist sutras, but I cannot read them. Okay. It has to be that one in Resident Evil 1 where the guy uh, is writing a diary and he's... Uh, progressively turning into a zombie, so it's, it's pretty cool. At the end, he's all like, uh, itchy, tasty, itchy, tasty. That's so cool. It's like my favorite diary of any survival horror game ever. Okay, well, uh, there was not much in here, but there, there was a little bit of backstory and, uh, you know, creepy stuff to set the mood. It's great. Powerful force is blocking my path. What is this powerful force? <laughs> I don't know. I guess that's not really explained. Does that mean that, that uh, we're locked in here? Because the last time that happened, I had to wrestle a ghost. Uh, with a very, like, weird... Uh, her neck was at an odd angle, let's put it that way. The ghost that I had to fight where the door... Ooh, hey, there's an item on the floor. Was this always there? I believe it wasn't. This item wasn't there. I can, uh, can almost guess that it wasn't. Um, okay. Well, I like the dolls. It might have been, and I just overlooked it, because because of the perspective when I walked into the room or something. More herbal yeah, this is not anything special. It's just some medicine, which is great. I'm, I'm very, very uh, grateful that it's there. Okay, so I think our only option, from what I can tell, is going right in this door. Uh, the faint sounds of something moving can be heard coming from inside the wardrobe. Sure, that's, that's, that seems healthy. Let's do it. Let's check what's inside the wardrobe. It is a ghost, of course. Oh, wait, it's a good ghost. Uh, it's a good ghost that I cannot photograph because uh, I was at a weird angle. I just walked back a little. Turns out I couldn't photograph him like that way. It's, this is uh, the mechanic with the ghosts, the disappearing ghosts is... I'm still not uh, sure. I'm still on the fence of whether they're, it's good or not. Let's go through this uh, this hole on the wall here. Can I... Let's investigate it, because there was a chance for me to investigate it, but not anymore, it seems. I guess from the moment when you... 
like walk into the room through the door. It's not scary anymore, so the game doesn't really, you know, let you do anything. So what now? Did I miss anything? Let's take a look at the map. So, this room right here has no other exits. I assumed this was an exit, but it was just a, a wardrobe. This one has one, which we tried. Oh, this one ah, has a path here. Fantastic. Okay, I didn't see that. All right. Thank God for the map. So, this is Yai and Saya's house, yes? Well, the creepy room with the dolls... What's the point of that? Like, uh, in a house, usually you have a couple of rooms where people sleep. Maybe a dining room where they eat. A kitchen, a bathroom, though those are essentials. A kitchen and a bathroom. What is this sound? It's making me uneasy. I don't know. Ooh, hey, what's up? Whoa, hey. Picture. Fleeing twin again. Are these the twins, like, when they were younger? Also, I have uh, a sneaking suspicion. Suspicion. What am I saying? Sneaking suspicion that uh, Mew and um, Mio and Mayu, I, I, I keep mispronouncing their names, are uh, maybe reincarnations of Yaya inside. It's, just, it's too obvious not to be true. More. Why are you giving me so many supplies, game? I mean, I know you have been a dick to me in past chapters, but seriously, you're, you're making me nervous now. You're giving me way too much shit. What the hell is going to happen? Also, someone said someone was really eager. Let me investigate here. Uh, there are stacks of boxes in the wardrobe. Sure, let's peek inside. I am very curious. Sacred water. I don't know exactly where it is, but apparently it's there. Okay, fantastic. Great stuff. But yeah, someone was really, really eager. Let's put it that way, for me to to start this chapter. You need a haircut. I saw you in that movie, The Ring. You too. Well, first of all, I'm going to run all the way over here. And then, I'm going to try and take pictures of you guys with my Type uh, Type 14 film. Can you... Yeah, thank you. Allow for them to get close. Picture. This surely will push you back. Thank you very much. What did that do? I don't really know, because that didn't really deal any damage. I don't really know what that does. And I wish I could strafe, but I cannot. So that is going to make this really, really tough. Uh, uh, well, I managed to avoid that somehow. I'm going to go through the ghost and going to go to this room right here because this room is slightly larger. It's it's going to give me, you know, more 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 space to fight them in. Now, well, they're they're they certainly are creepy. They're they they they're, they're, they're doing <laughs> they're doing their job. Jesus, they're being incredibly creepy. I'm going to approach them a little. Picture! Max shot. That was good. That one dealt damage. Is it because one is a doppelganger and the other one is not a doppelganger? Whoa, hey, what's up? I'm, uh, I was already shaking the Wii Remote when that happened, so that is fine. Also, I'm completely lost. Oh, this mechanic is not very good. Okay, running. Oh, thank God they're really, really slow. That door is closed. I'm just going to run right over here and try again. Where are you? You are to my... Ah, right there! Picture! Did I get you? Picture again! What? Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. That was totally my fault. I had a fatal frame moment there and I totally wasted it. That was totally my bad. I was getting excited. Okay, there we go. Calm down, man. It's just a couple of kids. Nothing big. Hello. What's up, man? Can you get any closer than this? Max shot? damage it's not really doing that that much but it's, it's okay it's more than we dealt before it's because I upgraded uh, the camera a little bit earlier it's right there again yeah okay. we're gonna get there it might take a while but uh, we can get there I just wish you would maybe double shot oh both of them they were clipping together that's fantastic that is great work there buddy you 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 I love that 
Okay, so you're a little... You're, you're behind me. Ghosts have a tendency to do that. They, they sneak up on you. Little bastards. Well, I also have my super awesome shot of doom right there, so... I, uh, okay, sure. What am I doing? I keep pressing the wrong button. I press B instead of A and snap picture. Just that is from the special shot. Double shot and some stuff or another. It really doesn't do anything. What, what exactly would this accomplish? Um... I might switch my lens around a little bit, just because their effects not always useful. I guess it would be useful for me to to run. It's in front of me? Where exactly in front of me are you? Because I can't really... No, oh, there you are. What's up? Well, you were right there. Oh, okay. I can see you now. You disappeared. God damn you. And you're saying something. I can't really tell what you're saying, but I know you're saying something. You, 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 you girls. You girls and your, your charms and... Wait, 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 wait. I cannot, you don't want me to focus on both of you, do you? That's a dicks. Picture. Double shot. Is, is one dead? Is, it sort of, she sort of collapsed. A little bit on the floor there. Right behind me. Oh, oh, there she is. The other one is okay. The other one seems to be too... Picture. I'm afraid of one might be there, because I can 